He is a funny guy, and he's a bachelor. For one reason, he's the worst catch in the world. <laughs> Say hello to Greg Travis. Okay, gonna get a kick out of him. Greg, come here, baby. I'll have to. What's up? Hey! Hey, it's a giant roach clip. Pass it around. All right. All right. How you guys doing? Good. We know all that bullshit. Get on with it already. You know who's driving me absolutely crazy on television is this Robin Leach guy on the lifestyles of the rich and famous. And what an appropriate name for this asshole to begin with. I'm Robin Leach, sucking up to the rich, showing you things you can't afford, making you feel like the lowest of lows. Look at this beautiful home in Bel Air. It's something you'll never have. I don't need this in my life. It also drives me crazy is Casey Kaysen, the guy that does the top 40. You know who I'm talking about? He's got this big, tall, blonde wife, and I just can't imagine him coming home to make love to this woman. Honey, I'm home. So take off your clothes and let's make love. But before we do that, I've got to go to the restroom. And while I'm gone, try to remember a sexual position we tried back in 1963. <laughs> Thank you. This is a kind of an offbeat impression. What if James Mason was cast as the part of Mo in the Three Stooges? Larry, Curly, I'm going to have to poke you both in the eyes very hard. Now let's scram, fellas. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> oh, thank you. I just got back from uh, Venice Beach, California. I was out there for the annual Roller Disco Psychic Nudist Weenie Roast Festival. That was a lot of fun. Hey, hey man. Can you... Hey, man, I can pee on you from here. <laughs> Let's go fishing for asshole. <laughs> I tell you, California's not that bad, because New York comics are always making fun of California. Are there any New Yorkers here tonight? Yeah. I hate fucking New York City. Yeah. I tell you why. You know, in LA, we got the beach, we got the mountains, we got the most beautiful women in the world. Yeah. All right, what do you got? In, what do you got in New York? You got a building on the side of your head. You got a 90 mile an hour wind blowing the money out of your hand while you're trying to pay a cab driver with an attitude, like he's doing me a fucking favor for picking me up, right? Then you got to take the sardine subway. You got fat people farting on your left and right. You got a guy with a knife. Give me all your money, man. Here, have a party. And there's people everywhere knocking you down. But don't get me wrong. I love New York. <laughs> now, last time I was in New York City, I bumped into what I thought was a woman. <clears throat> Beautiful looking girl. I knocked her over and went, oh, gee, I'm sorry. Let me help you up. Oh, thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> My brain went crazy. Man, woman, man, woman. What the hell is it? Adam's apple. Ah! <laughs> Now, I'm originally from Dallas, Texas. We don't have too many transsexuals down in Big D. I just can't imagine some big, burly Texas construction worker walking into a doctor's office going, uh, Listen, Doc, it's going to be kind of hard for me to say. But, uh, well, sir, I think I'm a woman trapped in a man's body. I know it's going to be hard on my wife and kids. But I want you to go ahead and cut off my dick and my balls and put two big old titties on me. I think I'll be happy. He comes back like a month later. Doc, you got my dick in a jar or something? Uh, this just ain't working out. My wife left me, lost my goddamn job. I want my dick back. That's a big commitment in life, you know? You better be damn sure before you cut off your dick. <clears throat> You may not be with a woman now, but maybe a year down the road, you meet a girl, you want to make love? I'd like to make love to you, but I, I cut off my dick. <laughs> maybe we could cuddle. And women don't like to cuddle with men that don't have a dick. 
Any single people in the audience tonight? Yay! We're free! Party all the time, party all the time. Sex and drugs and rock and roll. Oh no, man. <laughs> I should have got married for all this age stuff. <laughs> if you want to have a lover, you got to wear a rubber. Immune system, break down, break. <laughs> no glove, no love. <laughs> Some guy got bit in the butt by a monkey. Now nobody can get real funky. I tell you, I don't wear rubber anymore. I wear a wetsuit now, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking no chances. But you got to be careful, you know. Better, better than death, I guess. <laughs> Rubbers can be embarrassing sometimes, especially when you're both in that moment of passion and you're both ready to go and it's dark and all of a sudden you have to deal with this little thing and you can't get it open because it won't fucking come open. No, baby, don't move. I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, Jesus, I can't get it open. I got a knife. How could I have a knife? I'm naked. Oh, God. Okay, no, baby, don't move. I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, I got it open, I got it open. Which way does it go here? Oh, jeez, I dropped it. Oh, God. Well, it's got a hair on it. Is that going to be all right? Let me get that off here. All right, maybe don't, don't move. I got it. I got it. Let me try to get this on here. <laughs> what? You're jealous. <laughs> well, three times, right? <laughs> That's what happens when cousins have sex, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm a bachelor. Kind of like being a bachelor. If I want to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and scream at the top of my lungs, I can do it. Because I'm a bachelor. Yeah, I know these are bad for you. Hell, I'd smoke in my sleep if I get somebody to hold them for me. Because I'm a bachelor. Nobody to tie me down unless I want them to. What do you guys think about these bodybuilding women? Sort of the Arnold Schwarzenegger with nipple look. Do you like that? These women frighten me. I don't know if I could make love to a gal that could accidentally snap my spine. <laughs> oh, gee, honey, I think you hugged me too hard. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> There's something aesthetically strange about high heels and lats. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> got one for the guys. You're accidentally stuck in a lesbian bar. You got two choices. Fight your way out or put on a wig and be the best damn dyke that bar has ever seen. <laughs> Because you're a bachelor. <laughs> Not that easy for comics to meet women. I don't think that many women really fantasize about going to bed with a comedian, you know? <laughs> that whole Jerry Lewis image comes up. Oh, nice lady. You mean me and you could maybe? Oh, boy. Oh, I'm going to get some pussy. Oh. It's not that attractive. <laughs> I hear they got a new birth control pill for men now. You think it's a good idea, ladies? Yeah, I think it's fair. Why not? It makes more sense to take the bullets out of the gun than it does to wear a bulletproof vest, for Christ's sake. You know. I just can't imagine my dad taking the pill every morning. Take my damn pill now. I feel bloated. I don't feel sexy at all. Don't touch me, honey. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy relationships. I think if you can keep it together the first two months, you got a good shot at it. Because first two months, you're not really yourself in a relationship. You know, guys, you can't fart anything, you know? You see guys walking around like this. Oh, God. What's wrong with you? I'm in the first month of a relationship. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Been having bad luck with women lately. I think it's my technique. I wait in grocery store parking lots till it gets really dark. Wait for a girl to come out of the store with a couple of bags of groceries. I kind of casually walk over to her and go, I'm going to rape you. <laughs> oh, just kidding. I'm just teasing. What's your name? Never works out. Are you guys ready to get crazy? 
Well, all right then, let's do it. This is called David Slee's The Punk Magician. I like to do some magic for the people. Oh, fuck, you. fuck you! Hey, look, a little dead bunny rabbit. It's magic. Fuck you! Hey, look, it's a chicken with a spike to its fucking head. It's an illusion. Fuck you! I'm gonna tie myself up like Houdini. Oh, I can't get out! I can't get out! I'm free! Fuck you! I'm fooling you! I'm fooling you and you don't like it! Alright, nothing up my sleeves! It's a bird! It's magic! Fuck you! Alright! Alright, pick a fucking card! All right, look at it, remember it, and keep it in your fucking brain. Is it the two of clubs? No. Fuck you. <laughs> it's magic. He was lying. Let's try it again. All right, pick a fucking card. Look at it, remember it, and keep it in your fucking brain. Is it the nine of hearts? Yeah. Fuck you! It's magic! I'll smash your fucking head in, you lying bastard! Try to fuck up my act! Fuck you! Alright. I'm gonna stab myself. Who's gonna stop me? Fuck you! Ow, it hurts! It's magic! Go home and try that trick. Any knife will do. I'm fooling you and you don't like it. All right, I need a girl volunteer with big titties to come up here. I got something for you. How about you? Come on up here. Let's give her a hand. Oh, careful. All right. Shut the fuck up. Name, love, come over here. She's Nicole. All right, since you were so stupid to come up here, here's what's gonna happen to you. I'm gonna tie these two handkerchiefs together and stuff them down your shirt. And if you don't like it, you can just slap the shit out of me. I like that. All right, come on over here. Not gonna hurt you, I'm just gonna tuck these two handkerchiefs down there. Copper free field, no one knows the difference. Alright, grab that one there and I'll grab this one on the count of three. Are you with me? Yeah. One, Four. two, three! Yeah. Fuck you, yeah. it's magic! It's magic! Alright, babe. A little more comfortable now? Fuck you! I'll smash your fucking head in! You lying bastard! You know, I can't believe out of like two billion sperm cells, you got there first! Alright! Watch close! Shut the fuck up! Alright! Now you gotta guess if the ball's in the hand or the pocket! Ready? Hand or pocket? Hand, fuck you, pocket! It's magic! <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. Ready? Hand or pocket? Yeah. Fuck you! Pocket! You people are stupid! <laughs> I'm fooling you and you don't like it! Alright, let's try it once more for the stupid people. You know who you are. Maybe you don't know who you are. Alright, ready? Hand or pocket? Yeah. Fuck you! Pocket! It's magic! 
try and make it a little easier for you. Is it in this hand or the other one? This one? Fuck you! Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.